I'm gonna, <clears throat> all right, so I'm gonna make an opening in this wall. So just to make a window, I'm not gonna be very precise about it. You should be more precise, get it exactly where you want it. Uh, but I'll go back to my south view and I can click on this stud and I can move it down to the sill of the window. And I'm gonna copy this, keep it constrained, single copy. And uh, I'm gonna put the copy up here uh, above the window. And, uh, and I'll stretch this up. And then I'm going to put what's called a header uh, above the window here. So, uh, so that's to catch the load from the rafters and the wall and spread it over to the side uh, of these uh, uh, side studs here. Um, so in order to do that, I'm going to uh, uh, get my component. Uh, I need my two by six. Place it on a face. Let's see if we can do that. I'm not really doing it. Um, so at this point, I'm not sure. Don't really think I need that. So I'm going to temporarily hide my uh, mass uh, and see things a little bit better. Uh, and I'm going to set uh, my work plane to be the face of this stud. And, uh, and then I can come back here and, uh, and place that header here uh, and, um, uh, and I need to rotate it. So I'll select it. Rotate it 90 degrees, and now it's oriented properly. Uh, and uh, and I can go to my south view and uh, set the length to be the way I need it to be. Uh, and I can move it. up so the stud comes down onto it. And uh, now typically the headers are doubled or tripled. So, uh, so I'm gonna go to a West view and make sure I'm in wireframe view so I can see that header. Uh, and I'm going to copy it. This time multiple copies so I can put one here and one uh, here. And let's look at it in the south view, see how it looks. It looks good. And then I need a sill down here. So, uh, you know, I'll do it in very much the same way. I'll go to my 3D view. I still have that face of that stud uh, uh, set. And I'm going to get another two by six and uh, place it. Uh, I need to move it to right location. Not going to constrain it. Look at it in the south view. It's in the right location, but it's too long. So I will shorten it. And the last step I'm going to do here is that the side, uh, the jam studs here need to be double studs. So king, king studs. So uh, I'm going to uh, copy them. Uh, Didn't need multiple. Um, uh, 
copy this one. And, um, and we've kind of gone through uh, uh, what you need to do to uh, frame a house. Now, there are a lot of complexities here. Uh, you, know, you can do something as simple as this framing that I'm doing, uh, or you can, uh, you can add complexity. You could, uh, you could make a, uh, these rafters extend out to make an overhang. You could create a soffit here coming back uh, you could uh, uh, you know you could put a curved wall in or an angled wall. you could put the interior walls in. You could explore further and understand that things like cabinets and uh, 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 built-in elements need reinforcing in the wall in order to hang them off the wall so so one puts blocks in the wall. Uh, there are blocks that need to go in between these studs. There are blocks that need to go uh, between the rafters, uh, so fire stop and, and, and other elements. So you can elaborate it, you know, considerably, uh, but, uh, you know, as kind of a, you know, what I expect is to get a model like this, but all four walls, all, you know, the two roofs, uh, the plates, the corner posts, uh, some framing around windows, uh, uh, and, uh, and that would be fantastic.